Shane, you've had some time to reflect now for the first training session done, pictures and all that nice stuff. What are your initial reflections now on having signed and sorted? Uh, tough day. <laughs> yeah, um, no, it was a good day. Nice to get in and meet all the lads. Um, obviously, I've been here many a times throughout the seasons. Um, but yeah, it feels good to be on board with, with the gaffer and, and, and the club, to be honest. And you had a few options after leaving Boston, of course. But why Kidderminster for you? Uh, obviously, it's a club that has been successful and obviously very recently has, has seen a bit of success. But the main reason was, was the gaffer, um, Russ, after speaking to him. I know him and Jimmy have tried to get me in here a couple of times and um, the move was never right for whatever reasons and I was happy part of time. But um, after speaking to him <clears throat> during the off season, obviously seeing where he wants to take the club, um, his views on football are very similar to me and I, <clears throat> I thought it'd be very interesting to work under a manager who's not that much older than me, so um, it'll be a learning curve, curve for me, of course, coming back full time. Um, but I want to go into that side of like coaching and managing when I'm a bit older, so it'll be nice for me to see how the day to day is work and obviously work with the gaffer and Jimmy. Yeah, I was keen to get an insight into switching back into full time because you played very successfully and very well for a number of years part time, so it's a big deal for you coming back into the full time game. Yeah, it's a massive life change to be honest. Like we we're just joking around there, I should be on a on site today, but I'm not. So it'll take some adjusting, definitely. You know, I've, I found myself a routine of um, working and training and keeping myself fit and, and ready and durable. Really, like I've not missed many games in in the seven or eight years I've been part time. So um, it'll just be incorporating slowly getting back into full time and that'll be the goal for myself and, and the gaffer, you know, I don't want to rush things too early and take things too quickly, it'll be slow and steady to start with, although today was not slow and steady at all. Yeah, it'll be an interesting pre-season I suppose then, you've got some high profile games of course and you'll be looking to get the minutes in, but probably shape yours maybe different to one or two players? Yeah, the games are no problem, they're, they're alright, so they're running, um, but now yeah, uh, it will be, it'll be just, um, like I said, there was first double session I've done today and God knows how long, you know what I mean? I'm used to doing eight hours on the building site and then on a Tuesday and Thursday and go and, and, go and do some running at, at the clubs I've been at. So yeah, my legs are a bit sore today, but I've got the afternoon to get home, recover and, and go again tomorrow. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm excited about it. And how do you look on the last few years of your career? Because we were talking there about having been in the playoffs pretty much for, for each of the last four seasons. That, that's a high bar of, of standard you've set for yourself. Yeah, but not high enough, you know, very frustrated, uh, obviously, fall at the last hurdle last, last year uh, against York. Been there at Brackley before and, and got beat in the final and previous semi-finals and quarter-finals, you know, it's nice to make playoffs, but I w I'm desperate to get promoted out of this league by winning it, playoffs, whatever it is, and ultimately I've, I've fallen short of that goal for the last four years, although I've been so close, it's just not happened, so that would be my main goal coming here. Um, obviously. We Boston beat us here in, in, in the quarter final and obviously making playoffs for the first time in, in a couple of years here. So it was good success for you last year and it's time to kick on there and, and be a staple in the, at the top of the league, really. Yeah, I was just going to say, you know, full well that we came very close last season as part of a very good season here. But what for you is kind of the, the small differences that need to be made to go that one step further that we all want? I'm not, I've been searching for them for four or five years. So um, now listen, I think. Um, Consistency is very, very important. Uh, momentum, obviously, Boston last year we had a real up and down season, but last ten games we sort of came together, and I think that momentum really saw us go, obviously, nearly go and do it. But um, yeah, like I say, it is, it is fine margins. I think you need a little, little bit of luck sometimes. Um, the game between us and York was based off of a goal from a long throw in, a pen that I thought we should have had and we didn't, and it didn't go our way, and, and, and that's that. You know what I mean? But over, over what it's going to be 46 games next year. You need a lot of consistency, go and, and grind out those results and I think uh, with my experience I'm probably bring that to this to this young exciting team. Yeah and you'll know more than most about the qualities of National League North having been near the top of it in each of the last handful of seasons, it, it's ever more competitive isn't it, it never relents? No, it's a very very tough league, um, you look at the likes of Salford who got promoted year on year and then they came to air level and didn't get promoted straight away but then got promoted straight away from the National League so this year I think it's, it's wide open, there's a lot of very good teams, a lot of teams have recruited well and um, as you've seen last year, anybody can beat anybody on that day and I think that's what makes it such a good, good competitive league and like I say, it'll be about us getting the minutes into our legs in pre-season and making sure we're as fit and strong as possible for the start of the season. Mm. Fixtures are out on Wednesday, you'll know plenty about playing in front of the fans at Agborough in the mm -hmm. Agborough match day atmosphere, some cracking pre-season friendlies lined up as well, you must be really looking forward to getting started. Yeah, I've had some really good days here as an opposition player so I'm excited to uh, 
to use the crowd to our advantage because like I said it was difficult when we came here in the playoffs. It's been difficult at times when we came here for, for Brackley. So um, listen, you got great crowds last year, obviously off the back of the FA Cup run. But I think we sold 950,000 season tickets already. It's getting, um, it's getting close to that. So um, yeah, they're going to be a big part this season. And um, and the more people we can get down here to to come and help us achieve what we want to achieve, then the better for for the club. The and everybody involved in it.